I've just been putting some primer onto the walls inside the shower cubicle. Got to let that dry now for at least four hours, so that's all that's going to happen in here today. Although I'll go and prime the other shower cubicle walls. Um, that helps the waterproofing stuff stick to it, uh, which is what I'll be applying tomorrow. Um, so yeah, putting all waterproofing everything prior to tiling. So just another barrier, just in case there's any any water that goes through the joints of the tiles. So yeah, sort of protecting it for the future. Well, good morning. Um, so yeah, the primer I put on the shower walls, um, that's all gone off overnight and yeah, dry to the touch. So now I can start putting the waterproofing compound on it. Something I need to roll on. <laughs> Started off in the corner there, um, just as Claire is jointing and taping all the plasterboard and putting uh, jointing tape in the corners. A jointing tape is what uh, is supplied with this, which just means if there is any movement between the walls, this is kind of a little bit flexible, but because it's also got the waterproofing on it, it should provide a permanent water barrier. A few weeks ago we bought some furniture and this was one of the items um, which is a yeah large unit with a marble top. Um, I'm going to try and cut the top today to fit a wash bowl on and uh, a, a, a tap to go with that. It's not just a simple hole for this basin. It's got an overflow channel which means that um, it's more of a, a keyhole shape that I need to cut for it. Um, so, yeah, it's not just as straightforward as one drill bit. The way I'm going to cut the hole is actually cut two holes um, intersecting. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. <laughs> Wonderful. I need to drill a tap hole on the marble for, for the basin, but as we haven't bought the tap yet, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to wait till I've got the tap and then it's not going to be in the wrong place. Well, I'm also going to need to modify the unit. I'm going to have to cut the top drawer here to allow for the waste pipe to go to the basin and to allow for the, the water pipe to, to come in for the taps. Um, when I've just been having a look through it, I've noticed some telltale signs of possibly some woodworm. So what I'm going to do is give this a good coat of xylophene on the inside and then that will be uh, protected and the house will be protected from the furniture as well. So uh, might as well get on and spray that. It's a decent dousing of xylophene, so um, that should protect everything going forward. Oh, right, well, I'm going to let that all dry off before I find out how to get the waste pipes and everything cut into it. So 
So this is the basin that we've got for the on street and um, it actually did come with its own stand but I just sat it on this old sewing machine base and we both went oh we like that so we're going to try and make that look pretty and fit the basin onto the top. It has however arrived without a tap hole so I'm going to have to drill that out. drama free. The basin now has a tap hole and it's in the middle. <laughs> I've come outside to one of the barns. When we bought the house Inside, there was an old sewing machine in a room, and I will show you a picture. Ah. Anyway, we've taken the top and the actual machine off of the legs, and we are left with this. Now, I did have a little look on the internet. I don't think it's of anything historically important. There is hundreds of these bases for sewing tables in England, in France, I don't know about all over the world, but they are 10 a penny. And what we're gonna do with this, we are gonna put uh, some wooden blocks on the top just to raise it slightly. And then we're going to put the, I'm gonna say this properly, not sink. We're gonna put the basin for the ensuite on top of here. Firstly, however, I want to give this a real good clean down with some hot soapy water and then I'm going to spray it with a spray paint. <laughs> And I think it's now time to get a bit of plasterboard up here, to put across this gap. <clears throat> and then this room will be completely separate from this room. Um, so yeah, that will enable Claire to, to finish the jointing and taping in the ensuite here. Um, and I can start cutting the wall for lights and things like that. Um, yeah, let's get on with it. Just to check out really where exactly do we want the lights, where do we want the socket, where do we want the power for the heated towel well, and things like that. Um, it's actually remarkably spacious in here. It's quite a nice room. And you come here through the cupboard. Toilet, basin, shower. lights that are going to be either side of the mirror in there push through the wall now I'm gonna cut a hole for that which will house the socket 
Yes, it's the right size. Sorry, Merlo. Not, not yet. We're not ready yet. It's a bit early. Too early. So we're taking the dogs out for an evening walk down Rue Principal to the other end of Chagnon, which is not far at all. And there's a couple of ponies that, uh, when she remembers, she brings out carrots for, and they seem to like it. It's not really in my outfit. <laughs> I bought this one, Night Rider. <laughs> This one's my favourite, this one's Wappy. There, yeah, Flora, what do you make of that? Not a lot. <laughs> I look like I'm on day release. <laughs> <laughs> Calling a horse floppy and night rider. <laughs> up all of the furniture that could possibly get hit with any backlash of spray paint. Now I'm about to go in and start this. Aha, there it is. Put it down for a minute. So I'm going in with Dulux Colour Touch Silver. Bye Black. <laughs> That's already an instant transformation. Um, I'm going to let this side dry and then I'm going to come back later, flip it over and spray the top half. Wow. Whew, fumes. <laughs> However, I'm looking for a sander. I've managed to find two, but they're not the correct ones. It's just it's an absolute dump in here. It's just like dump it and leg it. And look, why, why, why is there one of my cafetiere bottoms in here? Found the sanders then. Well, so we've got two there. Here's another two sanders. I don't know how many you can operate at one time. I've <laughs> got two hands. <laughs> exactly. I have the many hands we of have Vishnu. <laughs> four sanders like this. Aren't we lucky? Aren't we lucky indeed. There you go, dear. Thank you, dear. All yours. So I'm in here, all on my lonesome today. At least I have some lights. I've got another one to tape and joint. I have the power. <laughs> so one of the things that I did was remove the old coving from around the room because um, it wasn't going to work and I needed, anyway, it needed to come down. Um, I've been a bit overzealous with my plaster removal around the window area here um, and a little bit overzealous over there. Um, so what I need to do, I'm just going to trim off the excess up there and then fit some plaster board and then maybe go over it with a, a skim of plaster. Um, just to tidy it up really. Um, I'm going to be fitting coving in here but it won't cover what I've taken off.
um, I have run out of nicks. Um, some of it's having to go on quite thick, so um, it's not a finished surface at the moment. So I'm not going to show you a close up. And I'm not going to show you the state of the floor underneath it either, because a lot of it decided it didn't want to stick to the ceiling. this time I'm not going to show you but there isn't so much on the floor at the moment um, a lot of it is now up in the ceiling <sighs> but I'm going to leave it there and come back to it tomorrow five minutes later I'm getting somewhere Unfortunately, in this room, sorry, there's nowhere for all of the dust to go, apart from out here. So it's getting really dusty. But I managed to go over a load of things, sand them, I am covered. I managed to do these two tape and joint. Oh, it looks like I've had an afternoon with Pablo Escobar. Other Colombian drug lords are available. Um, yeah, it's quite hard, especially when you're doing the ceiling. Um, yeah, just cracking on, really. So, you know, it's also really hard to film while you're doing it. I mean, the camera that I'm using is my phone and it's just absolutely white. <laughs> board up on the wall um, insulated behind again to help sort of soundproof between the two rooms this time Claire suggested I put the full panel up at the top um, which means that there is no joint for her to fill up there down here where I'm going to be tiling so yeah that'll be that'll be easily hidden things down I've got another one that I can tape and joint here you're in the room aren't you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm in the room. You're breathing again. I'm in the room. What, um, you're using something that's got a strong smell to it. Yes. What, what is that? Sealant. Oh, yes. Silicon sealant. Oh. No. Oh. No. <laughs> no, children, don't do that. Go, 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 go! <laughs> now flipped the table over and I'm ready to spray the top half just go over any bits I've missed as well however I've added an item I found this wall sconce in a like a brocant kind of shop a few days ago uh, 15 euros I think over the years it's been sprayed many different colors if I've got enough paint left I'm going to give this a good spray as well to go in the same ensuite bathroom and that is <clears throat> another job done. Yay. Now, this behind me ta -da, is the original cast iron bath that was in the house when we got here. It has moved rooms. Um, as you can see, it's lovely and white, apart from it being 
little bit dirty and having somebody's office on the end of it. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. The enamel, I think there's only one tiny chip. Nothing can really go wrong with that. Don't want to re-enamel it. However, what I would like your opinion on is do I paint the side and the feet of this bath or should I just leave it white? Just to give you a bit more of an understanding of this, and of course, excuse the mess, but all of the fittings in these two bathrooms are chrome. So this is a floor standing bath tap. The shower fittings are chrome. The, the sink taps or the basin taps, sorry, they're all chrome. And yep, don't get me wrong, it would look great with gold, but don't wanna go out and rebuy everything now. So, what do you think? Do I paint it? Do I paint the sides? And then do I paint the feet another colour? Because they're white as well. The bathroom tiles are green. So here's a couple of options. There's this, which is duck green. Don't know really how well that goes with the tiles. There's this, which is Jungle 7. Or there's Cypress 2, which matches, I think that's the best match with the tiles. Do you think I should paint the bath sides in Cypress 2? Do you think I should maybe do the feet in Chrome? Or do I really pimp this bath out? Now, again, I know it's not really gonna go with the chrome, but it's gonna be a bit of a, a wow feature. Do I even do it with gold leaf? Shall I gold leaf the bath and do the feet in green or the opposite way? Should I do the feet in gold leaf? And should I do the bath in green? I've got to decide pretty soon. So, yeah, any suggestions with this are welcome. I will let you into um, a little fact that we did go out and we did buy a couple of mirrors for this bathroom. Um, they're quite ornate. They are gold coloured, but they're quite big statement pieces. Um, I don't think they'll really go too badly with all of the chrome accessories and taps and things but yeah your opinion counts if you've got one comment below let's see with the wonders of youtube and you through all out the world what this bath could end up looking like this afternoon i'm back in the world of sanding hell uh, I'm ready to go. Some of my plaster, it's still not gone off. Uh, but I'm just going to crack on and do the rest of it. Let's get this show on the road. this for quite a while now uh, 
I'm not taking the mask off because it's still dusty in here. I've gone. La, 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 la. I've left those two strips. They're still damp. But I've also done the wall there, the wall there. Still got to do up there. Oh. And breathe. And time is ticking on for today. I still have to go and walk the dogs and Nick. And I'm also going to make a roast lamb dinner. I could also do with a bit of a shower now. Um, I'd say that's a good day's work. Making progress. <laughs> Some unsurprisingly. We have a Merlot and it was under six euros from our local hyper I think it's a brand that is sent worldwide. Um, <clears throat> plastic cork, so it's quite unusual for a French wine. It does have the brand's signature wonky bottle. Um, yes, it's not just we've had a few, it's actually a wonky bottle. <laughs> yes, <laughs> here it goes. So, uh, well, in case you hadn't yet realised, it's because of this grape that we named our dog. It is. Merlot is named after Merlot. <laughs> anyway, we've had a good week. We definitely have. It's been very productive. And uh, you've been, well, taking, <laughs> taking a sander to a wall all week. Yes, I don't know why I'm taking a sander to a wall when it's this direction. Nice, no, nice. No, <laughs> thank you for showering as well. <laughs> Well, I thought you liked it dirty. <laughs> anyway, if you have liked this week's episode, please click the like button. If you've not subscribed already, please consider doing so. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter or X. X. <laughs> or our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com Cheers. Cheers. Oh, lovely light fruity bouquet. Is it? I don't know. It works. Cheers to you. Cheers. See you next time.